a legacy of learning going way beyond the classroom. Last February, I took you inside the historic George Washington Carver High School in Phoenix. For 30 years, it was where students of color were forced to go. This year, to follow up, we thought we'd take you back inside in honor of Black History Month and introduce you to a former student who shared with me what the most important lesson was she learned at Carver, and it didn't come from a book. Every room down here had a story. Stories that live inside these walls, inside these pages, and inside the hearts of the students who once walked the halls of George Washington Carver High School in downtown Phoenix. Miss Franklin, we found your yearbook. <laughs> Does this look familiar to you? Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Students just like Ruth Ann Payne Franklin. And this is the cafeteria, which I didn't get to eat in until I got a job because I couldn't afford to buy the lunch, which was 35 cents. Skimming through her 1944 yearbook is like flipping through the pages of history, black history, Arizona history. There you are right there, number eight. What an honor it is to have your photo up there. Yeah. I mean, you're a part of this community. You're a part I, of history. I have been a part of it. And Ruth Ann has spent most of her 95 years trying to preserve that history. She's part of the Phoenix Monarchs Alumni Association. Thanks to them, Carver High School is now the Carver Museum. Carver was the place to be. Right. In spite of the way that we had to get here. When Ruth Ann started here at Carver in 1944, Arizona schools were still segregated. So even though she grew up by Chandler High School, she still had to commute all the way here to downtown Phoenix, nearly two hours each way. When I would get on that Sun Valley bus every morning after I'd ran that two miles, the ladies would all take a breath and they would say, oh, she made it. <laughs> would you say there were high expectations here at Carver? Absolutely. The aim of the administration was to make Carver a top tier learning institution. Standards were high even in typing class. If you hit the wrong key, she would tap you on your head. On your hand? Mm -hmm. Did you ever get tapped on the hand? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps the most memorable was when a lemon meringue pie she made in home ec ended up being the recipe for a lasting love. How did you meet your husband? Oh, Lord, what a story. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one that came and said to me, I want to take your books. What? And so I gave him my books, but you can't have my pie. <laughs> Stepping into the Carver Museum, you'll see countless photos, each one unlocking a different memory. Do you remember that day? Yes, I remember that day. What do you remember about it? It was special. We all got gathered in outside of the building. But more important than what you see is what you'll feel. The resilience, strength, pride. That was the foundation Carver was built on and runs through the veins of every student. This was a center in a lot of ways for black excellence. Exactly. Under this roof at Carver, you proved everyone wrong. Absolutely. And that's quite a legacy to leave behind and a lesson to learn. Maybe that's why Carver was the birthplace of so many leaders of color in our city, just like Ruth Ann's little brother. If her name sounds familiar to you, it's because she's the sister of Coy Payne, who was the mayor of Chandler and broke barriers by becoming our state's very first black mayor. So many treasures of history to review at Carver. It's a museum. It is open to the public, but you do have to book your visit in advance. To read more about Carver, head to the main page of abc 15 I love how you said more important than what you'll see is what you'll feel. Yeah, and I have to tell you, being in there a couple times now, you, you can feel it. It is a legacy that these students, despite everything, all the obstacles happening on the outside in a segregated society, mm -hmm. managed to still make that place a center of excellence. It's just amazing. Resilience and strength, right? And that's the foundation of Arizona. Absolutely. So we say thank you for that. Thanks for a great story.